Sorry, I have my window open because whenever I use this ring light, it gets really hot and you gotta get that air circulating, percolating. I still don't know what that means. It's time for the percolator. It's time for the air circulator. <laughs> you got the air circulating. All right. Hello. It is currently 11.20 p.m. and here we are. I'm leaving for the airport at 4 a.m. and <laughs> yeah, whenever I travel that early, I just don't go to sleep. Um, because why? I don't know. Just the way my body works. I wouldn't be normally going to bed for another three hours anyway, which means I would only get like two hours of sleep anyway. So why don't I just like stay awake and sleep on the plane? I don't know. Unhealthy? Sure. Probably. Um, but what else is not new, friends? Talking about me here. I just want to go to sleep. Like, I only, I, I never feel tired. But whenever I have to do something at night, suddenly, I'm real sleepy. So, I did a video like this before about six months ago. Probably almost exactly six months ago. A little cray. Who's, does anyone still say cray? Anyway. I had fun doing it. It was a fun video. Plus, mostly, it just means that I get two things done in one, in one go, you know? Filming and editing and uploading videos for the next couple weeks is gonna be a little bit hard for me because I'm gonna be in Delaware, which is my hometown, visiting family and friends. I've been very unnaturally busy for me lately, which is why filming, editing, and uploading videos has been a little bit more difficult than normal. Okay, it's late. Like, there shouldn't be that much noise outside. Please stop. Basically, if you're confused or don't know what's happening, I'm going to just pack my suitcase and talk. So, kind of like a mukbang, mukbang, Mickey Mouse. Hi. But instead of eating food, packing my suitcase. Are you ready? Ooh. This is the third time I've had to pack a suitcase in the past, like, two weeks because I've been traveling so much more than normal. So if I could just hire a little gremlin to live in my closet, I don't know why it has to be a gremlin that lives in my closet, but a gremlin that lives in my closet to pack my suitcase for me whenever I need it because I don't know why I hate it so much, but I do. <laughs> All right, I need to get started, fuck. This is not a how to pack your suitcase video either. So if that's what you're here for, bye. I asked you guys stuff that you'd want me to talk about, and um, a lot of you said that you wanted me to talk about SantaCon. Um, <laughs> listen, at first, my immediate reaction when I got asked to talk about this, I was like, no. No. A couple reasons. One, it gives me a lot of anxiety to talk about, like, controversial topics in the YouTube community or controversial topics in general in my videos because I want everyone to like me and that's the most selfish shit in the world, I'm fully aware, but it's true. And then I thought about it and I was like, you know what, everyone's already talking about it and everyone's pretty much all saying the same shit anyway. So what does it matter? The other reason I wasn't originally gonna talk about it was because I didn't go. Um, I was going to go, I bought a VIP ticket. I was not a featured creator. She doesn't know who I am, y'all. So obviously I wasn't like invited to go or anything, which is fine. So I didn't, you know, I didn't feel like I could really say anything or give any new information or some new tea that anyone doesn't already know about. But I understand that you guys just want my opinion and my take on it, I guess. So I guess I can at least give you that. So I heard about TanaCon the same way everyone else heard about TanaCon. I watched her first video she made about, you know, why she wouldn't be going to VidCon this year. 
and how badly they treated her and this, that, and the other thing. And like most people, I was completely on her side and I was like, wow, that's really fucked up. So when she announced that TanaCon was going to be a real actual thing, I was all for it. I was really excited. I thought it was a great idea on the surface. <laughs> And I was like, hell yeah, like I would love to go. So pretty much the day that tickets were announced, I bought one. Um, it was either the day they were announced or the day after. But I, I do remember, I remember the free tickets being pretty much immediately gone when I went to buy my VIP one. Um, I was going to get a VIP one anyway, so I didn't really care. But I did notice that, but I wasn't surprised because it's Tana. She has a massive fan base. Most of the time when she announces things like merch or tour tickets or anything like that, they sell out insanely fast. So that wasn't a surprise to me. And you know what else wasn't a surprise to me? The fact that it crumbled beneath everyone's feet. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously I bought a ticket and I was really excited to go and I had high hopes for it, but deep down the entire time, I was like, I don't know. In the beginning, I was mostly just like, oh, I'm interested to see how she's gonna pull this off. It'll be interesting to see how the convention works and how they organize it. But then as time went on and the event was getting closer and closer, like weeks away, I noticed there was like, no information whatsoever about how the technicalities of this event were even going to work. Nothing about, you know, meet and greets or panels or shows or schedules or just any type of schedule or information at all. And that was concerning. And that's when I started to think, okay, I'm worried now. Like this might not go as smoothly as the queen had hoped. Flash forward to the weekend of VidCon and TanaCon. It's my first VidCon that I'm not going just as a fan. Like, I wasn't a featured creator, not even close. I didn't have any type of panels or meet and greets or anything, but it was my first year going where I have a manager and um, I got to go to some like exclusive creator parties and I was so excited about just that that I was like, hell yeah, like, I was ready for this weekend, right? And TanaCon was kind of just like there. Like I was excited for it, interested to see how it was gonna go, but it wasn't like, it wasn't like, um, what's the, what's the right way to say this? I wasn't gonna be completely devastated if it didn't work out. And I'm lucky to say that because plenty of people literally flew from out of state just for this event. And I completely empathize with those people. That sucks. Like, I can't imagine. I'm getting ahead of myself. Just hold on a second. I'll get a little bit more into that in a minute. But it's the weekend of VidCon and TanaCon, and TanaCon started the 22nd, I believe, when VidCon started on the 21st. The night before TanaCon was supposed to start, Elena and I, my really good YouTube friend that I go to all of these events with, went to our first YouTube party. I don't even know whose that is. Needless to say, we were up pretty late that night. I was absolutely deceased by the time we got back to the hotel. And we knew TanaCon started the next day, but we were just like, we need to sleep. <laughs> we need rest and recharge time. So we just let ourselves sleep as late as we wanted the next day, which resulted in us not getting out of bed until like 12.30. And by this point, obviously TanaCon had been going on, or at least the line started like four or five hours ago. So I go on my phone and check Twitter, and that's when I saw everyone completely losing their minds. I don't even need to say what I saw on Twitter because you all already know. I'm probably one of the last people to make a video about this. So um, I don't really need to get into the details, I'm sure. If you need all the tea, our Lord and Savior Shane Dawson has made a beautiful documentary about this entire situation. As I'm filming this, um, we are still awaiting the finale, but by the time this goes up, it will have been released already. So um, I'm ready 
<coughs> um, but yeah, so as soon as I saw all that, I was like, wow, wow, I'm really glad that we decided to just sleep in that day because, oh, if I would have went to that convention and stood in that line, I cannot imagine the discomfort in my soul that I would be feeling. You know, I already have really bad anxiety issues, but on top of that, I'd be like at about crotch level of everyone in that crowd. So, you can imagine my predicament. So Elena and I pretty much spent like that entire day just scrolling through Twitter and reading about how mad everyone was. So many kids came to this event from like out of state, some even out of the country maybe, I don't know, just to meet their favorite YouTubers like they were promised so many times, promised, and they didn't get to do any of that. Other people have already said this too, so this is not news either, but I do really think that if she would have decided to wait a few months and did the event in like maybe the fall or winter time it would it could have been really great it could have been legendary and you know uh game changing like she originally wanted it to be but she wanted it to be the same time as vidcon so bad so she rushed it and this is what happened. So yeah, I mean, in conclusion, I still have to finish packing, but I'm gonna do it off camera. Like, this video's been long enough, and if I don't stop talking and get this done, I'm never gonna get it done. It sucks. It's shitty. It's disappointing. I'm not attacking anyone. I'm just talking about it because you guys wanted me to talk about it, and it's something to talk about because everyone's talking about it. I'm sorry to all of the kids that went out of their way to plan an entire trip just to go to this event only to be completely let down and out of thousands of dollars. Potentially, if you planned an entire trip around this, I can't imagine. Um, ugh, man. But I also want to say on a lighter note um, that doesn't have anything to do with Tanacon, I met so many of you during that weekend too which was amazing. I got to see so many of you take pictures, hug you, talk to you. It was great. I hope to do something like that again soon where I can meet you. Also, ooh, 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 I wanna, ooh, ooh, I wanna say something really quick. And I wish I said this like in the beginning because this pissed me off. Anytime I would say anything about going to VidCon, like I'd post a tweet or um, an Instagram picture or talk about it in a video or literally anything. I, I couldn't say that I was excited about going to VidCon without getting comments like, um, fuck VidCon, um, did they pay you to say this? No, sweetie, you're not allowed to be excited. And I was just like, oh my God. <laughs> It, I hate that mob mentality thing. I'm so exhausted by it. I used to like feed into that shit um, and like be a part of it, but it's just so annoying. Like, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Especially now that TanaCon was such a disaster and like so many people or everyone is angry <laughs> and everybody was telling me like, um, and it wasn't like I got an incessant amount of hate for it or anything, but I would get at least a few comments. Oh, they're trash. Oh, how dare you even say anything positive about that corporate corporation, company, whatever the correct word is. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here because controversial topics make me panic. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to have a discussion in the comments, but just be nice to everyone, please. Make sure to follow all my social media accounts that are linked in the description and at the end of the video. Subscribe for new videos every week and hit that little bell. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Love you, bye.